The Concept of the Black Hole The idea of a black hole has its roots in the 18th century, when thinkers like Jean Michel and Pierre-Simon Laplace speculated about dark stars with gravity so strong that light could not escape. Centuries later, Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity provided the mathematical framework for such objects, describing how mass warps space-time and creates gravitational wells. In 1939, J. Robert Oppenheimer and his colleagues calculated that collapsing stars could indeed form regions where gravity traps everything, giving us the modern conception of a black hole. At the center of every black hole lies what physicists call a singularity, a point of infinite density where known laws of physics cease to function. Surrounding the singularity is the event horizon, the boundary beyond which nothing, not matter, not light, not even information, can escape. To understand different types of black holes is to understand different ways in which nature creates these singularities and event horizons. Primordial Black Holes – Relics of the Big Bang The smallest and most ancient type of black hole is purely hypothetical but deeply intriguing – the primordial black hole. These are thought to have formed fractions of a second after the Big Bang when the early universe was dense, chaotic, and full of violent fluctuations. In some regions, if enough matter concentrated in a small volume, it could have collapsed directly into a black hole. Primordial black holes could, in theory, range from microscopic sizes smaller than an atom to masses comparable to mountains or planets. Some may have evaporated by now through Hawking radiation, the slow leakage of energy predicted by Stephen Hawking in the 1970s. Others might still be drifting through the cosmos, invisible except for their gravitational effects. Some scientists even propose that primordial black holes could make up part of the elusive dark matter that pervades the universe. Though we have not confirmed their existence, the search continues. Detecting them would offer not just proof of another black hole type, but also a window into the earliest moments of cosmic history. Stellar Mass Black Holes the afterlife of stars. The most well-known black holes are stellar mass black holes, formed when massive stars exhaust their nuclear fuel and collapse under their own gravity. If a star is at least several times more massive than the sun, its core may collapse in a supernova explosion, leaving behind a black hole. These stellar black holes typically range from about three solar masses to perhaps a few dozen. They are scattered throughout galaxies, often paired with companion stars. When matter from a nearby star falls into the black hole, it heats up and emits X-rays, allowing astronomers to detect its presence. Systems like Cygnus X-1, discovered in the 1960s, provided the first solid evidence that black holes were real, not just theoretical constructs. Inside these stellar black holes, the physics is the same as anywhere else. An event horizon marks the point of no return and space-time curves so steeply that all paths lead inward. Yet their relatively small size compared to other black holes makes them the most common type we can study in detail through telescopes and space observatories. Intermediate Mass Black Holes The missing link between stellar mass and supermassive black holes lies a mysterious category, intermediate mass black holes. These range from hundreds to tens of thousands of solar masses, bridging the gap between the smaller black holes we see in binary systems and the titans at galactic centers. For decades, their existence was debated because evidence was scarce. Recently, however, gravitational wave observatories like LIGO and Virgo have detected collisions between black holes of unusual size, providing hints of this middle category. Observations of dense star clusters also suggest the presence of intermediate mass black holes lurking within. Their importance is profound. Intermediate black holes may represent the seeds from which supermassive black holes grew, merging and accreting matter over billions of years. If confirmed, they would help explain how galaxies evolved and why massive black holes appear so early in cosmic history. Supermassive black holes – giants at the galactic heart Perhaps the most awe-inspiring type of black hole is the supermassive black hole. These monsters, with masses ranging from millions to billions of suns, reside at the centers. The supermassive black hole at our galactic core, known as Sagittarius A star, 
weighs about 4 million solar masses, and exerts a gravitational influence over stars and gas within thousands of light years. Supermassive black holes are not simply larger versions of stellar black holes. They are qualitatively different. Their origins remain one of the great puzzles of astrophysics. Did they grow from stellar black holes that slowly accumulated mass? Or did they form directly from the collapse of massive gas clouds in the early universe? What we do know is that they are engines of cosmic drama. When gas and dust fall into them, they form accretion disks that heat to millions of degrees and emit torrents of radiation. In some cases, these feeding black holes become quasars among the brightest objects in the universe, visible across billions of light years. The Event Horizon Telescope's 2019 image of the black hole in the galaxy M87 gave humanity its first direct glimpse of such a giant, proving their existence beyond doubt. Ultramassive black holes. The cosmic extremes, beyond even supermassive black holes, lie the hypothetical ultramassive black holes, with masses exceeding tens of billions of suns. Some galaxies appear to harbor such giants, inferred from the speed of orbiting stars and the behavior of galactic cores. These black holes defy imagination. Their event horizons could encompass our entire solar system. Though rare, ultra-massive black holes push our understanding of formation and growth. How could nature build such enormous objects in the age of the universe? Their study may hold keys to understanding not only black holes, but also the growth of structure in the cosmos. Exotic types and theoretical possibilities. In addition to these main categories, physicists speculate about exotic black hole types. One is the Kerr black hole, or rotating black hole, which describes most real black holes since angular momentum is conserved in collapse. Another is the charged black hole, or Reissner-Nordstrom black hole, which exists mostly as a theoretical construct since large charges are unlikely to persist in space. There is also speculation about wormholes, if certain black hole solutions could act as gateways through space-time, and white holes, the theoretical opposites of black holes that expel matter instead of consuming it. While these remain speculative, they illustrate the richness of black hole theory and how it stretches the imagination. What happens inside? No discussion of black holes is complete without asking what lies inside. General relativity predicts a singularity of infinite density where the curvature of space-time becomes infinite. Yet physicists believe this is not the final word, but rather a signal that our current theories break down. A theory of quantum gravity may eventually explain what truly occurs in a black hole's core. The event horizon, however, is less mysterious. It marks the ultimate boundary. Crossing it means being cut off from the universe forever. To an outside observer, time appears to slow for anything approaching the horizon, while to the infalling object, the plunge occurs in finite time. These paradoxes remind us why black holes are not just astronomical objects, but also laboratories for the deepest questions in physics. Black holes as cosmic architects. Each type of black hole plays a role in shaping the universe. Stellar black holes recycle matter and influence star systems. Intermediate black holes may shepherd star clusters and feed galactic cores. Supermassive black holes regulate star formation in galaxies through their powerful jets and radiation. Even the speculative primordial black holes, if they exist, may account for part of the unseen dark matter shaping cosmic structure. In this sense, black holes are not merely destructive voids, but essential cosmic architects. By swallowing matter, they create order from chaos, influencing galaxies, stars, and perhaps even the fate of the universe itself. From hypothetical primordial remnants of the Big Bang to ultramassive titans that anchor galaxies, black holes exist in a dazzling variety of forms. Each type reveals a different facet of the universe's complexity, and each raises new questions about physics, time, and existence.